So you just bought a brand new Bronco Sport and you want to go experience the great outdoors but maybe you're new to camping and you don't know exactly what gear you need. In this video I go over all the gear that I use and how it fits in my Bronco Sport. Alright, starting off with the outside of my Bronco Sport, I've obviously done a lift kit because I own HRG Off-Road and we make lift kits. So I've got the one and a half lift kit on my Bronco Sport along with Toyo Open Country AT3s sized in a 245-7016. I went with a 16 inch wheel because I wanted more sidewall for the type of off-roading that I do, which is more rock crawl type stuff. So up here we've got a Vivor awning. This is basically just an eBay special, although you can find these on Amazon as well. I think they're about 120 on Amazon. I got this one for about 99 bucks on eBay. It is a cheapy. I wasn't sure if I was gonna even like these things, but I gotta say this thing's really awesome, especially if you're caught in the rain or if you just wanna keep the sun off of your head while you're camping. A really cool thing, and it's a little bit small. I actually got the four foot by six foot size, and I really would have liked to have gotten the bigger eight foot one, but as it is, I really like this. I would highly recommend this as a modification for your Bronco Sport. Basically just bolts right to these rails right here. You don't need anything special. You guys gotta check this little thing out. This is a little footstep for getting up onto the roof of your car. It's by Carry Tech. It is rated at, I think it was 300 pounds or maybe it's 270 or something like that, but it hooks onto this, which is structural metal. So it's not gonna come off. And you can actually stand on that to get up onto your uh, roof rack. Basically just step right there and then you can get up to the top and get to your traction boards or whatever you got up here. Kayaks, super handy, but uh, I definitely recommend getting one because it doesn't take up any space. You can just stash it like right there and it fits perfectly. I also have these off-road lights right here. These are called ditch lights, uh, mainly because they aim out toward the ditch, which is for when you're off-road and need to see around a corner in a trail. But these are basically a no-drill mount with these brackets from hrgoffroad.com. They bolt right to your hood hinges and these are Aurora LED, very solid high quality lights. These are also available. These are really cool if you're out on a trail and need a little bit extra light. And up front here I have an HRG off-road skid plate. This is a steel skid plate. It does work great for skidding over rocks in the kind of off-roading stuff that I do. Uh, we will have these for the non-Badlands models as well, but for now, we just have the Badlands skid plates. All right, I want to talk about one more really cool thing I got for the Bronco Sport, and that is this hitch slider by 4122. This is a 6061 billet aluminum chunk of awesomeness that goes in the hitch and basically protects it if you come up on a rock it will protect the back of your hitch. It also doubles as an anchor point so you can hook up your recovery rope and pull your buddies out of the ditch when they get stuck because they're gonna get stuck and you're not gonna get stuck because you have a Bronco. Moving on to the inside of the Bronco Sport, I have the Badlands which has this really handy storage under the seat. If you don't have a Badlands, I feel sorry for you because it is really nice to have this little bit of storage in here. I have gloves for if I have to change a tire, I have tie downs, I have a first aid kit, I've got some spare lug nuts in here, I have a flashlight. So everything you need right there under the seat. Now on to the back. This is the really cool thing about this Bronco Sport is that everything fits in here so beautifully. This is like the perfect size. I have my Coleman fold-out cot because I hate air mattresses. They always go flat and they're super uncomfortable, but the cot has like a spring and a cushion and it doesn't go flat. Right above it, I have my Sylvan Sport fold-out kitchen. This thing folds out to basically a, a kitchen base cabinet. You've got like cabinet doors, you've got shelves, there's a really nice bamboo top. We were camping and it rained. We had a cover over it, but it, the rain was coming in sideways. So we were all huddled in our tents and this thing sat outside in the rain basically all night. And the next day we dried it off and it's perfect. Right here you can see there's a little bit of space left. I have a fold up chair in the back behind this up against the back seat. And you can actually put two chairs in here and this will just it'll just sit out a little bit further. So imagine there's two chairs that still all fits. So you can put the cot, two camping chairs, fold up camping chairs, your Sylvan Sport, and this all fits right underneath the little package shelf. Uh, this was an option on the Bronco and I'm really glad I got it. So above that, we've got our 
propane camping stove and in this little bag i've got like the propane and some tools and uh like an, a cast iron skillet my tent this is a magellan instant tent it basically is super easy to set up. You don't have to put poles in or anything like that. You know, all the tents I've had in the past had like the poles where you had to jam them through the little nylon and they always messed up. And it was like trying to set that up in the dark, especially if you've had a few beers, it's not a good thing. You can basically get this tent at like Academy or Dick's Sporting Goods, but it's a nice tent. So then moving on, we've got my sleeping bag. Now this is a 45 degree bag because it's summertime. If we camp in when it's cold, I have a 10 degree bag, which takes up this entire space. Now over here, this is a bathroom enclosure. Basically this is a pop-up bathroom or changing room, whichever you wanna use it for. This comes in handy if you're in a place where there's not a lot of cover, where there's not a lot of trees, you're out like camping out in the open more or less, or if you have to go in number two and there's no bathhouses, that's where this comes in. This is basically a little portable shitter. It's almost like a diaper genie. It's got little special bags that go in here and you've got a seat and you can basically sit on this and go to the bathroom if you absolutely have to and it fits perfectly inside this bathroom enclosure right here. Now right here, I have a collapsible cooler this is by Ren, which I have a lot of products by Ren. It seems to be really, really nice stuff. Um, this is really nice because you can fold it up and it takes up a lot less space. Speaking of taking up less space, today's video is sponsored by Simply Carbon Fiber. They sent me this really cool carbon fiber wallet. It is really lightweight, strong, compact, and it's so much better than that old clunky bifold wallet that I was using before. This wallet is basically one solid piece of carbon fiber. It weighs basically nothing. Super strong, super durable. You can fit all kinds of cash in there, up to nine cards. So to access your cards, you just push up right here and then you can fan the cards out, whichever one you need. You can just grab it out of there, super easy. Cash goes in the back. It's a really awesome piece right here. They also have phone cases, sunglasses, watches, you name it, there's all kinds of really cool stuff there. So go check them out and use the code HRG10 at checkout to get 10% off your order at simplycarbonfiber.com. Now moving on to our my storage box. This is basically a Velcro enclosed storage container just for miscellaneous it's got a couple compartments of course we got paper towels we've got this is my camera gear bag so I've, you know, all my gopro stuff is in here and then over here we have there's a mosquito repellent thing it emits something that mosquitoes hate and i know that sounds gimmicky but i swear it works so good it's like one of those things you just can't believe how good it works Highly recommend getting one of those. It's called a thermocell. I have a little water pump in there that is really handy if you're brushing your teeth or if you just need running water. I use a five gallon water cooler jug and just set that on the top of the jug and it has a little pipe that goes down in and then it sprays the water out like a little faucet. It wasn't that much and it is super handy. I also got this little tent fan from Amicool. This thing is really awesome. It has three levels of light. If you're just trying to wind down for the night, you can dim the lights a little bit. So basically you can just hang this from the top of your tent and it and aim it right at you and it's sort of like a little air conditioner uh, and it goes all night so yes ladies this fan does go all night long so i also carry this lightweight blanket this is by ren as well it's a thermal blanket fits in this nice little pouch doesn't take up a lot of space and then we have of course you have to have an hrg koozie because i mean you know why wouldn't you this is another setup that i got recently by wheelers this basically has all of your silverware in a nice little compact roll so all your silverware and if you're if you're a maniac, you have like aluminum chopsticks. I don't think I would ever use those. This is also by Wheelers. So you have your metal cups, metal bowls, and metal plates. Super easy to store. They all just fit right in this neat little bag. These are a bug defense wipe. I actually got these from my friend Randy at RidgelineStore.com. The smell from these is not offensive to us, but it is to mosquitoes. So you can take those with you when you go hiking. Similar type of scenario here, if you're out hiking, these are little handy wipes that you can carry with you just in case you know you have an emergency and can't make it back to camp, you have to go to the bathroom. I like to keep them handy in my box just in case we decide to go hiking while we are camping. All right, last but not least, in my little gear bag here, I have another set from Wheelers. This is my cooking utensil set. It comes with tongs, a spatula, a ladle, scissors you've got a cutting board right there and an extremely sharp knife and you've got a fork another uh, another smaller knife and you have a little towel and of course 
It comes with room for your, your seasoning, like, you know, salt and pepper and, of course, Tabasco sauce. This set also comes with a bottle opener, but, of course, if you have a Bronco Sport, you don't need that because it has one built right into the tailgate. <laughs> so awesome. I use this all the time, by the way. So in the rear storage area of the Bronco, now that I've got everything out, you can see here I've got my little propane bottle and the hookup for the cook stove. And I want you to notice that this bottle is really old. And the reason is because I don't buy new ones of these. I just refill them with this little contraption right here. This allows me to reuse this bottle. And all I do is hook it to a larger propane tank and it will just fill it right through this little fitting. So it saves, uh, saves the environment for not tossing these out, and it saves a little bit of money because you don't have to keep buying those little bottles. So something to think about if you're going to be doing a lot of propane cooking. I'll have the link to this little part in the description along with all the other stuff that you're showing in this video. So one thing I don't particularly like about the Bronco's design is that you can't lift the spare tire cover up further than that. If you have this storage system right here the ones that don't have it don't have this little ledge and you can pick it up all the way uh, another thing i don't like and i know this is because the full size spare but your your load floor is like two inches higher than the opening and that's because of the tire of course the full size spare for the badlands the other ones get a smaller spare and then as you can see there's a second track right there for the, the non-Badlands, non-first edition Bronco Sport load floor, and it is a lot shallower than this, but that design gives you a couple more inches of storage space. So I may end up taking the spare out of here anyway and uh, mounting it on the roof eventually, and that'll give me a lot more storage space back here plus uh, a lower load floor. So back here I have some more essentials. Uh, there's still a lot of room left in here. In fact, I haven't packed anything under the spare tire, so I have more room to put more stuff if I ever wanted to. But basically the essentials, I have some D-rings here. I always carry trash bags because oftentimes you'll go to campsites where people leave their trash and I always pick up trash at whatever campsites I'm in. In fact, if I'm on a trail and I see trash, I pick it up too. I usually will stop. Yeah, basically cleaned up this whole stretch of road through here for about probably what a half a mile yeah. back that way and we got one two three four five six there's one more tire in the front of the garbage can that's seven tires two mattresses i know these are probably from 50 years ago some of this litter has been sitting here for i mean you know who knows how long i filled entire bags of trash just driving around on some trails uh here i've got a shovel just in case it's a folding this is by ren as well it's a folding shovel Hopefully you never have to use it, but it's there. I have this Viair air compressor. This is the one that actually hooks to the battery. It doesn't connect to your cigarette lighter because it takes so much power, it would blow the fuse with a cigarette lighter. But the upside is that it inflates the tires very quickly. Now over here, I have a tire repair kit. This basically just has all the stuff you would need to repair your tire. No worries about getting flats. And of course I have my spare if the worst comes to worst. This gadget right here is a magnetic paper towel holder. I basically just stick this on the side of the car very carefully and make sure it's clean of course, but you stick it on there, hang your paper towels from it and it's got rubber coating so it's easy on the paint and it's probably not, probably scratching it a little, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? You're camping, so it's just gonna happen, right? Uh, here I have my recovery rope, which I have not needed to use yet. This is by Bubba Rope, and you can actually find these at hrgoffroad.com. And it's a 20-foot recovery stretch rope. Now, these are a kinetic rope. So the idea is the pulling vehicle gets some momentum up, and this rope stretches out and absorbs the shock and then yanks the stuck vehicle free without damaging anything. So these are really, really handy if you get stuck in the mud or whatever. Soft shackle. So these things are super strong and they'll protect your hookup points. I still do have the D-rings just in case. Um, but that's pretty much it for the back. The Bronco Sport just has storage compartments everywhere, which I totally dig. And you've got these little zippered rear seat compartments. And this is where I keep fire starter and, um, you know, like a aim and flame lighter. I have that back there. You can also put like bug spray or sunblock in there. The Bronco Sport also has these handy little pockets on the side of the seat, which are perfect for items like this and easily reached which i absolutely love the location of those and of course you got your console i always keep emergency jerky in here 
and uh, toll money and gum, you know, things like that that you might forget. All right, guys, don't forget to check out our sponsors, simplycarbonfiber.com and, of course, hrgoffroad.com if you're looking for a lift kit for the Bronco Sport or skid plate or ditch lights or anything else. We have a bunch of stuff out for it now, much more to come, so I appreciate you guys checking that out. And if you guys like Bronco Sport video content, we have a bunch more videos that we've done with the Bronco Sport. It's been a lot of fun so far. There's a lot more to come, so definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that said, guys, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.